Good morning gamers! So today we're gonna get off our seats of gaming and we're gonna go into our math seats because I'm gonna be teaching you how to do some pre-calculus and on this day I'm gonna teach you how to do circles. Okay so before we hop into the video quick question uh how long have you been playing the game? Because I feel like you've been playing for too long and you've become a no-life in this case so let's check up and oh 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 um Mmm, okay, that's 1,000 hours in Destin- oh, okay, you seriously need to get your life in check, so we're gonna get it in check slowly and surely by learning some math today. First of all, what is a circle? Well, you see circles as circles, right? But what is the definition of circles in pre-calculus? So in pre-calculus, a circle is a set of points equidistant from a fixed point called the center. So no matter what point you take on the circle, so if you take the center and a point on the circle and make a line segment, it's always gonna be equal. And that line is called the radius. So the radius of a circle is the fixed distance between the center and one of its points. Now the standard equation of a circle with its point on the origin is as follows. x squared plus y squared equals r squared. So where x squared is the x coordinate which is at 0, y squared is the y coordinate which is also at 0, and r squared is the radius squared. So say for example your the radius of the circle is 2. So if you substitute 2 to the radius of the solution, you square 2, you get 4. So the equation of your circle will be x squared plus y squared equals 4. Ta-da! It's that simple, right? Let's make this even harder. So, what if the center of the circle is not on the origin? What are you going to do? Cry and complain? No, you're going to use this new equation I'm about to give you. So, this new equation is the quantity of x minus h squared plus the quantity of y minus k squared equals r squared. For example, you're given the center of the new circle, which is 2, 3, and you're given the radius of 5. So we're going to substitute that to our new formula real quick and we're going to get the answer of x minus 2 squared plus the quantity of y minus 3 squared equals 5 squared, we square 5, you get 25. Alright, let's have another example but this time with a negative center. So let's say we have a new center of negative 3, negative 3, and we're given a radius of 2. Now, substituting that to the equation, we're going to get x plus 3 squared. Why do we get plus 3? Because you're subtracting a negative number. And in basic algebra, x minus negative 3 can be simplified to form x plus 3. And then we do the same to the y. y minus negative 3, we simplify that, we get y plus 3. And then we square our radius, which is 2, you get 4. And thus, we have the final equation of x plus 3 squared plus the quantity of y plus 3 squared equals 4. And ta-da, it's that easy! So what are you waiting for? Get off your gaming chair and go do some math! You know, there are even more complicated conic sections, more complicated than the circle, which is <coughs> hyperbola. <coughs> and well, sure, it may be complicated, but you'll learn. Probably, or I don't know, failure tests. Good luck, I guess! Nah, I'm just kidding. I'm sure you're gonna pass your tests in circles. Maybe tomorrow or maybe like in a few hours and you're watching this video because you're cramming. Ah. So anyway, I decided to keep this video short so that you'd be attentive and I use the Destiny visual so that you'll pay even more attention than your usual math lessons. I know you. Anyway, thank you for watching and you will pass your test. See you next time. Bye bye.